And I'm hoping to do a little video that might help some people how you can uh, rotate precisely. Say you have an aircraft that has, you know, some sweep or some sweep and uh, camber. And, and you're trying to rotate, you know, this is, don't mind the ugliness. <laughs> These are not uh, the greatest models. Uh, but you want to rotate it along that axis right there, while this edge that you can barely see right there. And, uh, you know, how would you do that precisely? Well, uh, well I, I can show you one way. Uh, we will use Control S. Cursor T selected, and uh, then we will add and mesh uh, empty. Right. And, you know, and of course, the problem is whether in global or local here, you see how this, this isn't going to rotate correctly. We need to fix that. Okay, so we'll, all we need are two. Uh, vertices along the axis that we want. We'll go here and cursor T selected and we'll add another uh, empty here. Now, I mean, it, you can use either one. Oh, what do we got here? What is that one? Oh, it's a different uh, thing. There we go. Uh, you know, I would probably name the inside one in this case, because one of them is going to become your actual axis. So, well, you know, aileron, right, controller, maybe. Okay. So, basically, but obviously this isn't going to help us so far. Let me get back to where I was. Right, just says right. we have to have this one point straight at that. So easy enough. Oh. If I can find it, just add a constraint. Track to. Just like that, and then you can apply said constraint, and then you can remove the extra. And there you go. Now, if we unpound it, oh, I guess we gotta parent that to that. And it's just a plain object parent. Okay, now we can. Rotate with this controller precisely along that one axis. And, and that's basically it. I will go ahead and do this one, but it's the same difference. Uh, you just add one there. Cursor T selected. Uh, add an empty. Go into edit mode and move the cursor down here. Uh, add another empty, and the second one, or the one on the inside, just because I like doing it that way. And that's just Gosh, these names are also up to you. I'm just putting some in there. And then where is it? Uh, And I think track to or dampen to. I use track to, but I think dampen to will do the same thing. Okay. And we can apply that. And delete that one. Parent that. Get out of there. And now we have two usable controllers animate whatever odd uh, angles you need to add. All right. Well, I hope that helps some people. You all know, have a good day.